Hi guys, it's Sarah Jane from Bella Coco and today I am bringing you a favourites video. Sorry, I was just trying to think what month it was. So, where are we? Oh yes, we are at the end of October, it's actually Halloween as I'm filming this, so this is a October favourites. I didn't do one last month just because I kind of missed it and then I felt like it was too late. So anyway, here's a small collection of my favourites from this month and the month before. Bits of beauty, um, bits of craft and like just all different bits and bobs basically. So anyway, I shall stop rabbiting on and start with my very first thing. So this very first thing is actually a repurchase and this is the Liz Earl um, Cleanse and Polish. I used to use this a little while ago um, and then I just ran out and I just didn't manage to get into town or when I did I just forgot to pick some up. Um, so I purchased this again um, during this month and I forgot how much I love this. This is so nice if you've never used it before you really must give it a go one of the reasons why I like it is you can just pop it onto your hand m smother it all over your face including your eyes and then just wash it off with a muslin cloth or um, just a hot flannel um, and it's so effective and I've noticed an improvement in my skin since I've been using this again so that definitely makes it onto my favorites for this month Keeping along the beauty side of things, I also got this new um, lipstick. This is a Maybelline New York lipstick and it comes in the colour Pink Punch. It's actually what I've got on at the moment. Um, I wear pinks a lot on my lips because I tend to find they're the shades that suit me better. But I thought because, you know, summer months you tend to wear brighter pinks. Yes, this is still a bright one, but it's also on the duller side of bright if that actually makes sense. Anyway, I really like this lipstick. Uh, 175 Pink Punch and it is by Maybelline New York. The next thing I'm going to talk about is actually a hair product. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have had my hair chopped. Um, I only actually had it done this morning and I'm loving it. Um, it was just getting too long and it was taking too long to dry and I just thought it looked a bit scraggly so I went for the chop and I've had sort of three or four inches cut off and I think it feels um, and looks a lot better so yes. But anyway, on my hair I often like to use a dry shampoo just because my hair is really fine um, but at the same time I've got loads of it so it tends to be quite heavy so it can go quite flat so even after I've washed my hair I tend to put in a bit of dry shampoo um, just to give it a bit more texture and to stop it falling so flat um, and just recently I've been trying this new Batiste obviously I've used Batiste before uh, but this is the bright and lovely the floral um, scent um, and I'm really really liking this one I also like the tropical one but I wanted to try something different and this one is is really nice. So the next thing I want to show you and if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen these um, already posted on there but they are the uplifting quote cards which I got from Massalan. So what they are are these really cute little cards and they say all different things on them. So for example this one says think happy be happy. So yes, this is what they come like. Um, you've got all the little cards and then you also get a little wooden block which they just sit in so you can choose whichever one you want and then you can just have that on your side. And I thought that was really nice. I think this would make a really nice Christmas gift as well, so like a little stocking filler. Um, but I just bought them for myself because why not? The next thing I want to show you is another Lolly Rocket Candle. Um, I've spoken about these before, I've actually got one um, burning here which is the Vanilla Buttercream which smells amazing. Um, so I ordered another one because, you know, I really love the packaging of these and I just think they're such good quality. And this one is Baby Powder. It just smells so good and it just smells exactly the same as Baby Powder. I love these sort of really fresh scents. So yes, Lolly Rocket Candle, you can never go wrong with that. I shall leave all the links in the description box below of any of these things that I'm talking about, by the way. Sticking with the candle theme, the next thing is this. This is called The Wax Box. I actually did a blog post about this um, just recently, um, just over this last week. So I shall leave a link in the description box below of exactly what this is. But it's such a good idea. I mean, I love subscription boxes anyway. Um, and just this full of candles. This is obviously a Halloween theme. 
Um, so it has things like wax melts in there. Um, it has um, a little candle, obviously because it's a candle box. But anyway, it's all along the Halloween kind of theme and very um, fall or autumn scents. Um, which, in all honesty, I wrote about in my blog post, is not really my favourite, but I love the whole concept of the box. I think it's very well done, very well packaged, so that is definitely one of my favourites from this month. And then, of course, I couldn't get through this without something crafty again, and my something crafty this month is this t-shirt yarn from Hooked. Um, it's Hooked Ribbon XL. I actually used this for one of my tutorials this month, for the um, IKEA basket, how to customise an IKEA basket, and I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's so versatile. I can't wait to make a few more projects with these because they're so cool. And then finally, my favourite TV programmes this month, definitely still with the Pretty Little Liars. I am on, I believe, season three now, so I'm a little bit further along than what I was before. And also, Walking Dead is back on TV, yay! I am so excited because Walking Dead is one of my all-time favourite TV shows and it's really really good, we're only three episodes in and it's amazing already. So that definitely deserves a worthy place on my favourites for this month. So there you go guys, that is my favourites for October, I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I am liking this month or over the past month. If you did like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below of any um, videos that you would like to see from me. I know I obviously do a lot of tutorials but would you like to see anything else? If you do, leave me a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!